You know what that bell means? <laughs> What's up? It's the Icy Air Hotline. And we are here to answer questions, address any thoughts, concerns. Leave a message at the beat. <laughs> Congrats on 89, girl. Congrats. Such a big deal. It's crazy. I didn't so, think we could get here so fast. It's dope. So fast. And what's so dope is she's from the Bay. She's black and Filipino. Mm -hmm. so, both from the Bay, both black and Filipino. I just feel like we have like a like a, a bond that yeah. was already there. And then we just cemented it by do this collaboration together. It's like we're so different, but mm -hmm. we have so many uh, so many things in common. Like we both played volleyball in high school. Uh -huh. We both be cooking Filipino food. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Filipino food? Sinigang. Me too. Oh, that's we like both have the same. Yes, that's like the Sinigang gang. Sinigang gang for all my Filipinos out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we both love Sinigang. It's crazy. Okay, top three Filipino food. Top three Sinigang. Lumpia. Extra crispy. Mm-hmm. Extra crispy. Ooh, the third one. I'm gonna have to go. Ooh! Adobo, but not really adobo because it's like. Ooh, cut it cut it is good. That's good too. Um I love me some panda sal too. Ooh, yeah. Why was I thinking panda sal? Every morning, panda sal with my sausages. Have you had the panda sal with the ube in it though? I don't like Ube. <laughs> you don't like Ube? <laughs> All right, that's one thing we don't they got, got in common. They gonna disown me. We don't, we, don't, <laughs> we, don't, we don't got that in common. All right, so I got some questions for you. Okay. The fans want to know. So what was your favorite part of the video? My favorite part of the video, like watching back? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, okay. My favorite part is when you're playing tennis and really? you're in the Philippines. Uh -huh. And then he like lifts you up. It's just so playful and funny and cute. Uh -huh. Thank but you. of course, when we were like in front of the plane and like dancing around, having a good time, because that mm -hmm. was fun shooting. I like that too. Yeah. One of my favorite parts of her, she looks so sexy. <laughs> when she was like, it's so freaking <laughs> It was so subtle, but so sexy. Not a lot of people can do that. I'm trying to be like you. Man. I'm trying to be like you, girl. Mm -hmm. So, what is this? I feel like, oh, I feel like blank when closer comes on. So I feel like. I feel like an energy of confetti. Confetti. <laughs> confetti. <laughs> confetti comes out. It just confetti, like. Confetti, right? Yeah, it, it just boosts my emotions. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Like I'm in a Barbie house. Oh, I like, like that. Like I feel like I'm in a Barbie house and I'm just like. Like a baby Living Barbie. life. Just living life. I like that. Yeah. So, how did you feel when recording closer? So, before she even before she even says how she felt, let me tell you, I gotta be honest, I was so nervous <laughs> sending over the song to her because I feel like it's a different sound for her, for yeah. me. So, I wrote my verses and I'm like, I definitely want her on it, but I don't know if she gonna like it. So when she said, when her team said she liked it, I was just like screaming. No, that's crazy. I, I was I was excited when, you know, we wanted to work together anyways, because I know we kind of been subtly saying that we want to, indirectly yeah, yeah. saying that we want to uh, work with each other. And then when I heard it, I was like, ooh, this is different. Like, immediately I was like, ooh. And then um, when I thought about myself singing it and when I actually went into the booth, it reminded me of this Janet song. Maybe we we'll meet at a bar and I'll drive a fancy car. Yeah, maybe we we'll meet a girl and fall so deeply in love. It gave me that vibe. That and I love vocals. that record. I love that record. So mm -hmm. um, it just gave me that kind of like, that early 90s kind of like pop, but like, I don't know. I, I, I liked it. I thought it was really different, especially the bass line kind of brought it to the Bay Area for me. Right. You know, like the bass line in it, but um, yeah, I was excited. I was excited. Mm -hmm. I just we could have done anything, but we the fact have. that I'm working with her just you know makes it. And dope. the fact that I'm working with her. <laughs> so, but how did you feel like recording it? Like, what was the emotions that was going through your body? Man, like, it was like sensual. It was I know, it sensual. Was, it's the freaking me. You freaking said that. Yeah, I mean, it was, <laughs> it was sensual. <laughs> 
I love it. And that's how I felt. I wanted to wrap a little bit more sensual, more airy, which is why I was experimenting with my voice. So I'm happy I was able to experiment with you. Yeah, definitely. So number four, mm -hmm. the Bay is such a melting pot of culture. Mm -hmm. How did that directly affect your music? Man, so the thing about the Bay is everywhere you go, I feel like there's music. Like mm -hmm. whether you go to Oakland, Sacramento, San Francisco, Vallejo, there was always uh, like art and soul festival. There was like always so much music, old and new. Mm -hmm. um, so being surrounded by that kind of gave me this, I don't know, this this vibe. And, and I don't know, it's just like being from the Bay, you have this sense of community. Like we're strong. Right. Mm -hmm. We're strong in community and family, especially like being Filipino. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it, it really, I don't know, changed the way that I move throughout the music industry, but also the way I create, just just because I got those roots, those sly stone roots, the mm -hmm. compunction, you know, E-40, Mac Dre, like the hype movement, too short. Tony, Tony, Tone. Exactly, Tony, Tony, Tone, all yeah. that, all that is like in my blood. And isn't, is she Lee E from the Bay too? Yeah, she, yeah, she is from the Bay, exactly. That's a lot of just music roots in the Bay that's so original, so bomb, mm -hmm. and so influential. Like, and I know you can relate to this too, but being from the Bay, like oldies is something so second nature. Like the quiet Absolutely. storm, like Absolutely. you get around some other communities and people don't even know what an oldies is. And you was just like, you gotta go back to the roots. Exactly, exactly. The Bay is definitely, definitely that place. Speaking of festivals, don't you have your own festival? I do, I do have my own festival. Lights on Fest, mm -hmm. um, it's been crazy. It's really celebrating R&B music you know, and how that's kind of the foundation of all music. But, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, R&B was dead, or, but it's so alive, and my mm -hmm. festival is proof of that. Right, right. I remember I came to her her festival, and yes. it was packed. Shit, it might even been sold out. Yeah, and it was. It I definitely was. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> so the energy in there was just so full of love. Um, I do hear that that saying though that R&B is dead however when your name is brought up they be like no and you know some of the other girls too like y'all mm -hmm. are carrying the torch and keeping it alive appreciate it uh-huh it's it's never gonna die it's the people right it's emotions it's love baby mm -hmm. exactly so number five you obviously killed the hook on this as Thank you do all the time do you have a pre-recording ritual Man, I kind of got to live with the song a little bit. Like, I have to hear it a lot um, and just kind of vibe out. Usually there's, like, tea going on in the studio. It might be some candles. You know, Absolutely. I get to be a little dim. Get the vibe right. Yeah, get the vibe right and uh -huh. just go in there and do my thing. Oh, that's right, girl. Mm -hmm. So we can see. I'm going to take one question from the fans. Oh, they said her is this generation of Prince. We got the Prince poster. <laughs> that's a right big there. compliment. Thank oh, no, you. That's right. All right. So no, I'm still bald. I got a wig on. <laughs> <laughs> My hair not dyed right now. It's like four different colors. Somebody said no cow got the baddies. You already right, know. No, that's right. You already right, know. I'm like a bad girl. <laughs> What's up? Be nice. Be nice. Also, we're talking about my girl. My bad. Oh, being rude. <laughs> she being rude. Okay, so she over here like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before we leave, congrats on um, debuting '89 on the Billboard with me. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, congratulations to you too. I'm just so happy to time. share this moment with my girl Herm. Mm -hmm. Our official BTS of Closer is now on Facebook Live. And do you got anything that you're working on right now? Man, um, I'm actually getting ready for a tour. Uh, my tour dates just went up, so, you know, catch me for back of my mind tour, and I'm going to be on tour with Coldplay. Oh, so I'm not a spy! I'm about to be on the road. Wow! <laughs> oh, I love Coldplay. I know, me too. It's going to be crazy. Oh, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm so proud. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, you just made me so happy. Oh, well, oh yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just getting ready for tour, and I'm just, um, I'm going to be working on some more music. So, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Make sure y'all check out her tour tickets. I absolutely love your song, Damage. Oh, thank you. Yes, ma'am. So, let's just keep it flowing. Keep that bay energy, that pretty girl energy, that musical energy bay going. Y'all have a, um, what's today, Tuesday? 
Y'all have a blessed Tuesday and we out. It's Icy Airlines, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that being said. Everything is going to be.